What's going on guys? This is Ken from Ken's How To's and Reviews. Today I'm going to do a quick, short and to the point takedown and reassembly of a 1911 pistol. This is a SIGS version of the 1911 and if you've never owned a 1911, this is not the easiest pistol to take apart and reassemble. I have an earlier video of a P226 9mm that is like falling off a log, easy to take apart. So um, if you're going to buy a 1911, just make sure that you um, have the patience to take one apart and put it back together. So um, let's get right to it. So first things first, make sure no magazine in there, no, no shell in there. Let's put this guy on safety uh, to get this spring out because this can be difficult sometimes. This is a, a very high pressure spring right here. So you're going to put your thumb, finger, whatever you're going to use to push this down and then rotate this little guy right here. Because this thing will shoot out of here like a cannon. So we'll take that out. Put that to the side. You got your spring out right here. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my safety off, slide this guy back. Uh oh, there we go. All right, now I'm gonna take my spring out. So just a little tip. Sometimes this spring does not want to come off the internal part in here. It's okay to leave it, and I'll show you. You can leave it right here. Next thing we're going to do is that we're going to take our pin out. So we're going to line our pin up with this little groove right here. I'll take this out. And we can slide this off. That pin allows us to slide off because it catches this circle right here. Put our bottom half here. Here's that little internal part I was telling you about. Sometimes it comes off completely, sometimes it doesn't. So we can take that out. This stays with the spring. Our barrel, this is not the easiest barrel to take out because it does not come out this way. You have to fold this down and push while rotating this. So we're gonna rotate this around this way. We're gonna lift and push out this way. There you go, there's your slide. At this point you can clean anything off, get any debris off your weapon. I just greased this one up, so no need to do that now. So to put it back together, we're gonna go in reverse. Make sure this is down this position. Put it back in here. There's a little, there's a notch right here that you have to line up, line it up, spin it back, barrels in place. I like to lift this part up, keep it right there. Then you're going to take your spring, this guy, there's a notch right here. Make sure that goes down toward the barrel. Put our spring in here. Make sure that notch is toward the barrel. Push the circle forward so it lines up with this part. All right. This is kind of sometimes can be the tricky part. We'll put the bottom half of our gun back on. Line right up. What we want to do is make sure trigger's pulled and you're going to see this little thing flip up right here. You're going to push that down so you can move your slide back. Sometimes it's kind of tricky. All right, so now we need put 
our pin back in. We need to make sure that our hole on our barrel is lined up in this hole right here. You see, now it's lined up. So now we're gonna put our pin back in. This can be a tricky part. So you have to line it up just right for it to go in there. So it will go in there. Kind of have to finagle the slide just a bit to get in there. There you go, click. All right, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this guy on safety to keep the slide from moving back. I'm gonna push the spring in and put the cap back on. And I can tell you, I've done this a million times. You put this spring back on, this cap, and you don't keep tension on the spring and it'll shoot right to the ceiling. So make sure, it might do it now, that you keep some tension on the spring always or you will be retrieving your spring from the drywall. Once that's back in, make sure it operates properly. And there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. See you guys next time.